Now today I'm gonna have a look at one of these, what is it, a Brooks? One of these smoke detectors with the non-replaceable battery that are replaced by September 2023. Did a friend add and they were tossing it in the rubbish and I thought I'd have a look and see what it actually is. Optical smoke alarm interconnect with 10 year non-replaceable lithium battery. So I don't know if interconnect means you can hook several together or something. I don't think it's actually a mains powered one, that's what he was wondering. It looks like maybe there's something here to do with the battery. I don't know if we can open that up, I don't know that there's actually a battery under there by the look of it. it. Looks like we've got a few clips around this thing that probably popped the top of it. It already looked like it was part, partly coming apart. But I thought before it goes in the e-waste or whatever, I'll have a quick look and see what's actually inside these things. Just for my own curiosity amongst anything else, and maybe maybe they want them to have a 10 year lifespan or whatever, just in case dust and stuff gets on the sensors and stuff, so they encourage people to chuck them away. I mean, you can get ever ready batteries, 9 volt batteries now that have a lifespan, something like that, and I think they're lithium or something. Why oh, doesn't that one want to come undone? because it's a pain, that's why. Right. There we go. And I think one of the others clipped in. So an LED, looks like the beeper. Yes, yeah, so there's a bit of dust and stuff on it. So I think those things can start getting full of muck, so maybe they want you to throw the thing away for that reason. Now how do we get into the next bit? So that's really just the dust cover and not much else. And yeah, a bit of a coating of dust as you'd expect. Which, like I say, I think can shorten the life of these things. It's got some sort of switch here. It doesn't say what it does. So this thing must split apart again. Oh, it's not that bit, that's all one piece of plastic. Does that bit come out? Yeah, these bits separate, I think. Bit of paint on there, which says not to paint it. Yeah, so there's definitely a ring around there. That must be another bit that pops off somewhere. And the other thing I'm interested in is what's this cover here? Can I get it off? Oh yeah, there's a, there is actually a battery in there. Which I bet this clips off somehow. Oh, yeah, there's the, oh, that's the wires for that maybe, but there is a battery hidden under that beeper area. Did that just make a noise or was that my imagination? It's probably going to get upset about me getting in there. So there's the clip bit, but where does it go to? Probably one of these things, oh actually I think you can peel it back from there, is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. That's one of those sort of double-sided things. You can just see it through these little holes here. And if you bend it outwards, it should. There we go. I always like to know what these disposable things are made out of. Made in Japan, so they're good quality. They didn't put the cheapo made in China stuff in there, which makes sense because these are, you know, could save your life, basically. It's probably, I guess, three three volt cells in there, maybe. Oh, it does say, yeah, nine volts, so yeah, it is the same as a normal smoke detector, basically. Oh, it is still good, this one, by the look of it, so it's still got some life in it. Yeah, I'm not sure whether it stopped working, or I think it's just at the end of its lifespan. Where was that date? I thought I saw a date on it somewhere. I'm, now I'm going blind, can't see it again. Battery not replaceable, see instructions. So this, oh here it is, replace by September 2023. So it's not quite at the end of its life. So this probably is a worker. Where's the tester on this thing? And there's the tester, so what does it press? I'll pull all the bits, that's the beaver. I assume it went that way, did it? 
Yeah, well it lines up that way, so the test is how it goes down in there. So get it ready to be deafened. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Oh, maybe it is dead. Well, the battery's still got voltage on it. I don't think there's any other things we have to do to, to get get it to work. Oh, what else, what's this switch do? Well, it wouldn't turn it off, would it? Ooh, there it goes. We did something, I think. Oh, yeah, we've got the light flash, so maybe that is an on-off switch. Surely the smoke detector doesn't have an on-off switch. You never know, I guess. I guess that might be to defeat it if it's playing up or something. You're triggering it too much. How does this thing fit back on? That'll be one of the holes, I guess, and that. Yeah, so, where's the switch? Over there. Yeah, oh yeah, that's the hole for the terminal block. No, it doesn't say. Oh, actually, oh, it's one of these things here where you rotate it, I reckon. So the switch should be in that position. Yeah, then you lock it in and it, I guess, comes on. And when you take it, turn it that way, maybe that turns it off. Yeah, I forgot they often have a little switch thing there. There we go, we're flashing again. Yeah, that's all that is. So it is probably actually a worker, so... It's got a few months of life left in it. But the battery's still at three volts, so... I wonder if there's any date on their battery itself. Fire explosion and severe burn hazard risk. So that's kind of ironic. But I think that's more if you do not if you incinerate, short circuit, recharge, heat or disassemble. Hopefully it's not a fire hazard in your smoke detector. But it doesn't actually say a date on the battery itself. So I guess this is just another bit of sort of throwaway technology. And is that a connector there? Maybe for test purposes or something in the factory? I think there's little pins you can connect to there, and I still haven't found out, I'll have to look up see what this connector does. But it's possible that you can interconnect multiple smoke detectors, I guess, so if one goes off in one part of the house, it triggers them in the other parts of the house, which would make sense. Hmm, oh, well, there you go. Just something to look at. Another bit of the modern world's disposable tech. I didn't actually work out how to get it apart, did I? Because I think I can see how to get it apart. You press on those. Yeah, that's holding this top face on. I think. I need three different screwdrivers at once. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, quite a nice little design. There we go. No fun if you don't pull it all apart and see what it's really made out of. There we go. There's your piezo. Certainly pumps out some sound. So like I say, that'd be the sensor. And the battery's just soldered in, but you could replace it if you wanted to. There's a chip under there. Oh yeah, that is a, that's that connector. It's got T9 volts GL on the pins that are labeled. And oh, I've got something else down there, H and I or something. G H I L T. So maybe that's so you can plug into it and check. Maybe for people that are testing them in an installation, LEDs even got a little socket on it, I think. Oh, yeah, that comes out. So at least the LEDs easily recycled out of it if you wanted to save the LED. Few little inductors and capacitors. I mean, back in the day when I was a young hobbyist, I probably would have pulled something like this apart, having, hoping to salvage some bits out of it. Certainly, a LED I would have kept. And I guess that piezo, it's actually a three wire one. 
although whether that's just earthing the, the case of it there and yeah I wouldn't recommend pulling that bit apart though with the since it's got some radioactive element in there I think and this one doesn't show oh this might be an optical one because it doesn't show the radioactive Ooh, oh I can open up and look oh yeah it is that's all it is well, look at there's a, something there and something there and I can see something shiny in there that looks like an LED and yeah that looks like a little photo die so this is an optical one so what they do they come across roughly hit this little thing I guess if there's enough scattering of light in there there's quite a bit of dust in this thing so she definitely wants to clean if there's enough particles in here to scatter what comes out of here across to what's in there that's what sets her off I mean in theory we should be able to, is this actually on at the moment? should be able to trigger it is can we sort of not that I want to hear that damn thing but we should be able to deflect you think something reflective would work Not that easy, maybe. Oh, well, that's a nice reflective surface. Can we trigger it with its own... Oh, there we go. Looks like you can trigger it with its own piezo. You can start it's not flashing again, although it didn't sound the best there, but... Oh, there's the flashing light. Takes a little while. So it's around here somewhere. It's probably infrared LED, I guess. Oh, doesn't want to trigger again. There it is. So that, um, it shouldn't have turned off, should it? Being up against that plastic seems to amplify the piezo quite a bit. Because that's what I thought, a lot of these piezos weren't very loud, just floating around. But it looks like if you put it on the mounting and stuff, I guess all these bits of plastic pressing up against it makes a bit of difference. But there you go. That's what an optical, I've never pulled an optical smoke alarm apart. But it's definitely a silver looking thing, which is an LED for sure. There's the pins to the back of it. The other bit's covered up in metal. But you've just got to get something to deflect the light around this little blockage between them. Yeah, there's a good, I don't know how many degrees is that. It's around 45, I guess, degree difference between the two things with this thing blocking it. Two little pieces. Oh, at least there's no radioactive waste in it, I guess is one good thing. So it's not the worst kind of e-waste on Earth, but lithium battery probably isn't the greatest thing to be chucking out, but at least that could be snipped out, I guess, and tossed in the battery recycling. Besides that, you've got an LED, a little slide switch, a little push-button switch, and probably nothing else really worth saving, unless you want maybe an infrared LED. If it is infrared, I can't, certainly can't see it glowing. And photo dies, so maybe you could make a little remote tester or something using that part. Anyway, thanks for watching.